Should you buy the RTX 3060 or RTX 3070 Ti version of the Lenovo Legion 5 Pro? Right now on Lenovo's website, you can get the 3060 version for $1399 and you can get the 3070 version for $1599 or over on Amazon, you can get the 3070 Ti for $1599. So the question is, is it the right move to go for the higher GPU for that extra $200? Or should you maybe go for the RTX 3060 and maybe do like a RAM upgrade to 32 gigs of RAM in order to make the cost benefit analysis fit for you? We're going to dive into that right now. Now, if you're curious about the exact pricing and availability, because pricing does tend to change from time to time, I'll put links in the description below and you can check those links. Now, if you do make a purchase, I will get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. But of course, that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. Now, first and foremost, when looking at the benchmarks, the biggest difference between the Lenovo Legion 5 Pro RTX 3060 versus 3070 Ti is going to be in 3D modeling. Looking at Photoshop, you can see that the RTX 3060 version scored an 881, where the 3070 Ti scored a 1160. So that extra GPU kick does help inside of Photoshop, especially with those more intensive graphical processes. However, if you're a mainly a Photoshop user, you could get the same bump in performance by going from 16 gigs to 32 gigs of RAM. So really the question is, what matters more to you? Getting more GPU power, so you have more graphics processing overall, or getting more RAM, which gives you more multitasking power and equal power upgrade inside of Photoshop. Now, next, we're going to look at After Effects, and as you can see, it's really not a big difference in After Effects. You go from 857 up to 917 by going from the 3060 to the 3070 Ti. So, in my opinion, I would go for the 3060, purchase a 32 gig RAM set and upgrade from 16 to 32 gigs of RAM for the RTX 3060. Now, if you weren't aware, Lenovo actually sent over three Lenovo Legion 5 Pros for us to give away once we pass 100,000 subscribers. So definitely subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss out on the giveaway. Now, the next thing we're looking at is Blender, and Blender loves graphics processing. So, in my opinion, if you're going to be a Blender user, the RTX 3070 Ti is the way to go. You can see that almost 300 points difference between the 3060 and the 3070 Ti. Now, looking at Autodesk 3ds Max, this is where we really start to see the gap widen. We have a 186 for the RTX 3060 and a whopping 245 for the RTX 3070 Ti. We see that trend continue in Autodesk Maya, getting one of the best scores I've seen on my channel so far with a 351 in Autodesk Maya and a 268 out of the RTX 3060. Now going on to PTC Creo, we once again see a really great score out of the 3070 Ti with a 241. And then for the 3060, we see a 200. So not as big of a gap for PTC Creo. Now moving on to SolidWorks, this is probably the smallest gap going from 103 up to 116. SolidWorks really likes either workstation GPUs or AMD Radeon GPUs. These gaming GPUs from NVIDIA don't do super well in SolidWorks, and there's a myriad of reasons why, and I've actually filmed videos explaining that, so you can catch those on my channel. Moving into video editing, if you're into 6K, either B-RAW or RED footage, then the RTX 3070 Ti will definitely be a benefit to you. As you can see, we dropped 393 frames in B-RAW for the 3060 and 3938 for red footage and with the RTX 3070 Ti we dropped zero frames for B-RAW and only 243 for red footage. So you definitely want to be considering the RTX 3070 Ti if you're going to be using 6K red footage. Now moving into the export times, the RTX 3070 Ti saw about 10 seconds less on the export time, so really not a big deal if you're a 4K video editor. I would personally go for the RTX 3060 and go ahead and upgrade to 32 gigs of RAM if you want to do some sort of upgrade, if you want to spend that budget, that's where I would spend the money. Now for 6K video editing, it really makes no difference. Tomato, tomato, 1721 versus 1757. To me, this is just more of a discrepancy in the actual test. I ran it multiple times and it usually came in about this time frame. So about 30 seconds out of 17 minutes really is not that big of a difference. So Really for video editing, as far as the export times are concerned, neither really makes a big difference. But if you're going to be doing 6K red footage or 6K B-RAW, the playback is where you're going to get the most boost in performance by choosing the RTX 3070 Ti. If you're a DaVinci Resolve user, you're going to save about one minute on the export time for the nine minute 4K export out of DaVinci Resolve. So if this matters to you, if you're going to be doing stuff longer than nine minutes, you know, say maybe 20, 30, 40 minute projects, then it could add up over time and having the RTX 3070 Ti would be advantageous to you. 
punch for punch, which one should you buy? As we're talking through this video, if you're going to be a 4K video editor, I would skip the RTX 3070 Ti and go ahead and upgrade the RAM to 32 gigs. That will be a much better investment overall for multitasking. If you're a Photoshop user, I would do the same thing because, again, you're going to get better multitasking and just as good a performance inside of Photoshop as if you were to have the RTX 3070 Ti. If you're going to be doing graphical processes like 3D modeling or using Blender, then I would definitely go for the RTX 3070 Ti and if you're going to be a 6K video editor. Now, if you're running in After Effects, I would go for the RTX 3060 and upgrade the RAM to get better performance inside of After Effects. Don't forget to subscribe so you can catch the giveaway of the Legion 5 Pro. And if you want to make a purchase of any of these laptops, you can head down in the description below and click those links. I'll see you here in the next video.